And good morning, everyone. Looking forward to our call today. I'm going to let Samina in and looking forward to day number 31. How are you doing, Samina? Good to see you. Hope that you're keeping well. We are continuing on this journey of troubleshooting and decision making. So it's officially day number 31, actually. I got to change that. Day 31. And it's actually day 31 of the guide as well today. So looking forward to our call. Let's see who's come on in. We've got Cheryl and we've got Tiff and uh, hopefully Marty will be with us, but if not, all good. It's Wednesday. Wednesday means midweek. What is it that you are looking forward to? So Samina, what are you going to call with in terms of energy? Rush, rush, rush. <laughs> I was a few minutes behind today. Energy is good. Energy, energy is high. Excellent. Hey, I, love, I, I, to... love your, I love your color today. You've got Thank that you. vibrant burgundy, which I think is so important. How about you, Cheryl? What are you coming to the call with today? Um, snow here in Collingwood. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. first snowfall, first um, pass of the oh, snowplow, and uh, first day with these big garbage bins that we've got. So anyway, <laughs> I've already had my workout this morning to an all, dealing with all of that. <laughs> goodness while well, you made it that's the most important thing yeah. and tiff what are you checking in with oh i'm checking in with gratitude because yesterday you and i talked about a task i didn't want to do and i did it and it was mm -hmm. going to be and i felt so much better so Ooh. thank you I mm -hmm. love that well this week is all about you know resilience and change and keeping moving sometimes it's enough to just keep on moving and keep showing up and traction will happen so Yesterday, we really looked at sort of that troubleshooting and a little bit about decision making. You've been working with that obstacle and challenge. Before I go any further, I want you to imagine that that obstacle or challenge you were working with yesterday is solved. And I want you to just take a mm. minute. I want you to like close your eyes and actually think about what would it feel like? What would life be like if that obstacle or challenge? just evaporated or you solved it. So we're gonna be silent for a minute as you come into the room, think about what that obstacle or challenge solved would look like. I'll invite you to open your eyes and you can always take down a brief note about what you feel, about what you notice before we move on. Years ago, I used to like this coaching question that Robin Sharma used to ask, and he's the author of um, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, a leader with no title, but Robin likes to ask this question of, imagine if you could not fail, what would be possible? I think that's such a great question. Imagine if you could not, be, could not fail, what would be possible? So we're really looking at this this week, right? It's about how do you create some options. And what's interesting is I want to bring to you a framework that shows up in the 90 day guide. It comes from the world of performance improvement and program design. It's a little hazy. It's a little clearer in the book, but it really helps us identify, at least if we're managing a team, what might be at play. Now, for those of us that are like leading our own businesses, I think it's also a really useful framework to go through. It's a decision-making tree, really. And what we want to do is really work through what's an obstacle or challenge on a performance level. So let's say I have an employee that's just not doing, you know, she's just, she, I'll make it a she, she's just not, you know, working the way I would like her to work. I could start working through this problem tree to see what really support is needed before we go down the pathway of, oh, you know, 
what might need to let her go. In contrast, we could also use this as a decision making tree as an entrepreneur. So I'm going to use it as an entrepreneur this morning because I think this is a really interesting issue. So let's say what's the problem and I'll use like the number one issue for most employ most uh, in entrepreneurs, which is usually cash flow, not enough mm -hmm. revenue, maybe not enough sales. So we're going to modify this decision making tree because it will help us also identify some possibilities in light of working through our challenges. So what to do when performance analysis flow diagram, I'll say, uh, if I haven't said it already, this really comes from the body of work of Robert Mager or Mager, and his whole body was really about performance analysis. So we're going to say that the problem is, and you can follow along, you can actually draw your own flow chart here. We're going to go straight over to the left hand side. Our problem is that we don't have enough cash flow for the month or you know what let's reframe it not enough sales the problem is we don't have enough sales not cash flow we're going to do sales so does this performance concern us is this a concern yes or no if it is then we're going to look at well what is the discrepancy or what do we really want so let's mm -hmm. say as a business i want to make sure that we have fifty thousand dollars worth of revenue this month so the discrepancy mm -hmm. is we've got ten thousand dollars in but we want to be making $50,000. The discrepancy is that $40,000 gap. If the discrepancy is not important, we just stop, right? So I would just leave it there. But if that discrepancy of the $40,000 is worth solving and it's worth pursuing, then I'm going to go to the next line of the tree. So I've said, okay, is it worth solving? Yes, we want to figure out how to really net another $40,000. If it's not important, we're done. But I've said, you know what, we want to we want to follow down this path. So I head on up. And the first question we want to ask ourselves is, can we apply fast fixes? And of course, in business, we can always apply fast fixes. The question to ourselves, if we're wanting to look at how do we net $40,000 might be, what are the options? Okay, so what are the options? And I might generate, you know, okay, we're going to have a Black Friday sale. We're going to have a, um, you know, we're going to start offering 2022 programs. And you know what? If I have a $2,000 program to net $40,000, $40, that's only 20 sales, right? I can really start looking at what does that mean? And as a leader, I need to be asking myself, have I made expectations clear with my team? Right? Maybe they don't know that we have this goal of 40,000 new revenue coming in the door. So, if I have not made the expectations clear with the team saying, you know what, this is our goal for the month of November 2021, I need to clarify expectations. And hopefully, that's going to get us all rowing in the same direction. If everyone knows that we need, you know, they know that 40,000 is our goal. I might need to ask myself, are the resources adequate for people to do their job? Maybe I need to provide more financial resourcing, like maybe the, for the marketing person, they need actually some cash flow so that they could go out and take out some Facebook ads uh, for, you know, um, honey, you've, you've seen honey. I don't think honey's here today. Is it honey? Are you there? <laughs> Tiff, no, she's not here with us. But you know what, I might say to I might say to honey, hey, honey, what else do you need? And honey might say, you know what, Jen, I need someone, uh, I need some additional support, I need some more hands. So we might move Jackie, uh, my co op student onto the project. And so what's interesting is this just starts us work through different options. Often we're like, Oh, my gosh, I've got to make $40,000. What do I do? And we stop dead in our tracks. With this performance tree, it allows us to look at different options. So back to our tree, if our resources are adequate, honey says, yes, I'm good to go. Everyone else is saying it's good. Then I need to ask, okay, are we making it clear what great performance looks like? What netting $40,000 would look like? And that's all that they mean by performance quality visible. So what is success looking like? Performance quality visible means what will success look like? And if we are clear, then we probably have solved the problem. We need to just execute. We need to just get it done. If we've not made it clear, 
then I need to provide feedback. What directly could $40,000 look like? And again, we could go through that example of it might mean 40 new registrations for the group coaching essentials and bundle program. It might mean 20 new 2021 registrations or whatever for annual programming. And hopefully we're there. But as we know, problems aren't usually solved that easily. So we can then go down the next line of the tree, which is, is this environment supportive? And as a leader, these are really great questions to be asking all the time. I wanna be asking what gets rewarded? Am I rewarding people for putting up blog posts rather than picking up the phone and reaching out to people who have emailed and said, I'm interested in your program. So that might be a quick shift that we can make. Or maybe there are some situational issues at play. Maybe I know that, you know what, the market right now is tapped out. So we might need to revise our goal or not. So again, I just hope that this is a useful frame. Again, we may find that working through the other factors, we've solved the problem. Or perhaps I then say, you know what, we're still not getting traction. Um, does the team know how to do what we're asking them to do? Or do they need some actual skill development? Maybe Honey would like to go off to a copywriting course to do more marketing effectiveness. Maybe Jackie wants to go to a bookkeeping account to see how could we actually look at having more financial data at fingertips. So the performance analysis flow, flow diagram, or what I like to call the performance tree, is a great opportunity to start looking at your challenges, those big boulders, like I might think, oh gosh, $40,000 in a month, how do I do it? But if we start really working through this, we can start seeing some new options. So I want to pause here to see who's who's been following this example as I've been going. Yeah, Cheryl's like, I'm on it. so Cheryl, what, po what way, what possibilities do you see for applying this in your world? Uh, so for sure, <clears throat> I, mean, I think I mentioned at yesterday's session that um, I'm, I'm familiar with this model and I've used it extensively for performance diagnosis. What the real aha moment this morning was that I could apply it in my business coaching, working with entrepreneurs as a, as a structured way to break apart a business problem and identify what, what factors are contributing. I think it's a big deal. And what, what factors do you have control over? That's a huge one, right? Resilience and change is really all about how do we continue moving in an ever-changing environment? How do we identify the levers, even if they feel small, the things that we have control over? And I can't say it enough, and this is really why there's a 90-day guide. It is about that consistent action and the daily steps. If we only do something for two days, we really don't see the impact. But now here you are, you're walking billboards of this process, right? Day 31, you're seeing what's happened in your world when you show up and you show up and you show up and you show up. And so I hope that for everyone watching, listening, participating, whether you're here live or on demand, it really is just another tool in your toolbox to start breaking mm -hmm. things down. Because if you really want success, whatever success looks like, sounds like, is for you, it is gonna require consistent action, right? It's very rare that we just snap our fingers and th things just happen. Um, and so I really hope that with tools that I've been providing, including things like the performance tree, that it gives you some new ideas and options of really in a collaborative way, in a business also, to think through how do we make this happen? And that's what performance conversation should be as well. It should be a, a, a performance conversation around What's at the heart of this not working? And for years in my coaching skills training for leaders, we've used this as a resource for them to actually sit down with their team members to start working through the problem together. Mm -hmm. Not just the leader saying, this is where I think it is, but this is something you and your team member can sit down together and say, you know what, I think these are the areas. It's not about a fast fix. It's actually, there's something in the environment that's not working. We don't have a piece of software or I don't have access to resourcing or you know responsibility. 
So that was today's focus on obstacles and troubleshooting. Let's see if I have any other goodie here today. Tomorrow, we're going to go to team identity, which I think will be fun. And so that leaves us with a 15 minute block. Would you like to go back out to breakout today and do some work on your challenge with this model in mind? Would that be useful, do you think? Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Or is there something else you'd like to do? It's Wednesday. So with Wacky Wednesday, I want to give you an option. <laughs> what do you reckon? Who wants to work through the performance tree? And you'll see a clearer, cleaner copy in the 90-day guide on page 221. Okay, so head on over to page 221. It is also across from the is is not tool that I think we talked about yesterday. Did we talk about we, is we, not? We talked in the reconnecting workspace. Workspace is, ha, ah, okay. Yeah. So you know yeah. what? It was different call. Cheryl's in both of these. So with it's, the reconnecting yeah. workspace is certified coaches yesterday, I was sharing another tool that can be helpful. And I'll just quickly, I'll just do a quick like jog of it on the screen. You might've heard me talk about it before. It's one of my favorite tools for performance, which is getting clear on what something is and what something is not. So let's say you're delegating a task and you're delegating a report and you're asking, I might ask Honey to do a report for me. So I'm gonna tell her that this report is going to be, you know, let's call it 10 pages in length. Um, it is for external EXT, external stakeholders. I'm also going to say that it is um, focused on 2021 reconnecting workspaces. And the report that we're going to share also has links to videos and other content. What it is not is it is not an internal report, right? It's not for us to figure something out. It's not going back. It's not going back five years. Um, it's not linking into my work as a group coach, et cetera, et cetera. So very quickly, um, I'm naming what it is, which helps to debunk any assumptions that there might be. And that's where in troubleshooting and obstacles, if we take it hand in hand with the performance tree that we just worked with, it really helps to gain clarity around a task. So I could have also done the is, is not around, we want to net the $40,000. What does that look like? So any questions on is, is not? So for instance, Jennifer, because um, you brought up a good one, is, is not. So you said one of the things was that you didn't want the, your staff just pumping out blogs or sending emails. You wanted them on the phone. Yes. So, which I think is an, that's interesting, drawing, like providing some direction about the method, the how. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it does create sense of urgency for sure. And, well, and direct yes. contact. Direct contact. And again, it could have been framed as, you know what, this week we've got to prioritize direct contact. doesn't mean that you're not going to do blogs, but if you have no. five hours, you're going to spend, you know, half an hour on blogs and four and a half hours on direct contact, mm -hmm. outreach, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's, a, it's an interesting frame. And, and I think mm -hmm. in disruption, we want to create urgency, which is why mm -hmm. both of these tools is, is not. And then also I'll close this down, going back into, of course, our other framework of the performance tree. So let's have some dialogue. You can choose to talk about whatever is useful, but I want you to think about one thing that's going to move you forward, either in that challenge slash uh, obstacle that you named yesterday, or maybe it's just a different issue that's, you know, keeping you stuck today, because this week is all about getting unstuck, wrapping up the Friday. So with that, I'm going to put us in breakout. You'll have, uh, you'll have a little less than 10 minutes. And uh, I hope that you enjoy whatever conversation you get into today. All right, you can accept your room invite. Uh, Tiff, do you wanna stay here with me or do you wanna go into a room with Marty? I'd love to, but then I've, I wanna make sure that I'm here for people who pop into Clubhouse. So I guess I better stay out of the break room. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna open all rooms. 
if you don't want to go, you don't have to accept your room. Otherwise, you'll see people over there. Okay, enjoy. Eight minutes. Eight minutes is all we've got today. Marty, you can accept that. And Tiff, you can stay here as well. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Anything you want to articulate, Miss Tiff? funny like yesterday with that thing and that I was all like ah and then I did it right away in the morning so I Ooh. love your influence that you know let's just how much can we accomplish in the morning and now it's so funny because there's a few other things I'm like okay you know what now I have other things on my list and it's okay that these things just keep popping up it's a good thing absolutely well you know the list just keeps growing in the world of entrepreneurship so with what you were hearing you know what what is the is that the do you want to keep working on the same challenge or do you want to switch challenges this week? Um, yeah, I need to switch challenges. Um, my new challenge is the creating the power hour for um, reaching out to people. Yeah. Um, the financials. I've seen that. I get that now. Now that's the switch. And that's another thing I'm just going to do this morning, but it's so funny. Like I know I need to do it. This is essential. Yes, it's it's absolutely essential. So what how might you lose focus on the essential nature of this task? What might get in the way is another quicker way to say it. What might get in the way? Um, anything that I could possibly find. Ha ha ha. So I think the get to, to make sure that the distractions are at practically nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's just putting myself in a room, shutting the door, just letting everyone know, you know what, this is the hour I just got to have to myself. And I just can't answer any calls and I just can't talk to anybody else. And I'd love to, but you got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it. Because <laughs> if you don't do it, what's the cost? Well, the cost is that I won't have new clients this month and I need them. Yes, yes. And it's good to need them. Of, of course. Of course. What else do you notice, Tiff, as you're talking about this? You know, if you, I love that is, is not. That was really cool. Yes. Because now it's like, okay, don't, it, it's not, it's not this huge overwhelming thing. I don't have to do every single step instantly. Yeah. It's, it's just, what what it is is that I need to develop a ritual. That is it. Like if that's all that I do this week, that's perfect. Mm hmm. The one thing, right? Doesn't have to be fifty yeah. things. It just is just, one thing. What it is is I need to be consistent in an hour that is just devoted exclusively for reaching out to people. Mm hmm. That's what it is. Yes. It is not to immediately talk to them or to quote unquote sell them on a meeting with me. This is just to start a conversation. That is it. That's what it is. And it is not to to overwhelm me because it's it's not there's not a million steps to it. This is just the first part of it. So that's what I really liked about the is is not now that I see that I'm like, oh my gosh, that's all it is. Totally. Totally. That's that's all. So how will you reward yourself? If you're successful with this this week, how will you reward yourself at the end of the week? Isn't that interesting? Like you say that and I'm thinking, oh, there's just, can I really? Like, yes, I can. I think I would like to do something that I don't do normally, like maybe do some baking. Ooh. And maybe go visit someone like, you know, I'm able to visit a few people and I think that, that would be nice. I I just want to make sure that I do something that is not related to it. You know what I mean? Something just kind of just totally different. Totally. I love that. A, a break, as I like to say, right? It's just like, yeah, we all need a break. We need a break for sure. And I apologize that I was just emailing there. I had to get something important, important off. <laughs> I was listening, but I had to look a lot. So if you do that, how will it feel? It's so fun to feel like, like it's 
not like, to, like you say, reward yourself or do something fun. It's because you took the action. It has. I used to think it always had to be attached to the outcome. Like you can only reward yourself if the outcome was quote unquote good. Yes. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Now I know it's. It doesn't matter. Just take the action. That's all you need to do. Just take the action. Mm -hmm. And no matter what, reward yourself only because what it is is you took action. Yeah. And action is going to move you, right? Yeah. It's, it's like, just do it. Just do it. You're going to learn something. You're going to move somewhere. It will get you going. Yeah. It'll always, it'll always be good because you took action. Of course. Of course. So there we go. That's our morning. Once again, yeah. another morning done. So you've got your plan, Tiff. Anything else that's, that's key? To note that it's just it just again feels good to know you don't have to look at all the steps just start with the next step like for me next step is setting up the environment developing the ritual that's the next step that's mm -hmm. it. and you know what that's the next step for anyone right it doesn't have to be yeah it could be anyone like let's just keep on going is it is the key thing yeah awesome awesome well i'm gonna i'm gonna save i'm gonna stop this we can close out the is is not you can use that today in your work and i will bring everyone back i don't i can't believe how fast these calls go so tiff i i still haven't seen the invoice <laughs> i don't know if it's getting blocked can you can you put me in chat i are you on zoom can you put in private chat the email address to send it to and then the amount and I will just I will I'm just sending it by PayPal right so I can just send it to you today. Yeah, I have a, I have a PayPal account, but I don't know how to connect it. That's okay. Oh, well, okay. So how to connect it, how to connect it to your bank, or how to connect it to you. I, I did connect it to my bank. And now okay. I don't know how, how I send it to you. Oh, okay, so you just open it and then you put in my email address or just uh -huh. if I send you, I can also send you without an invoice. So you just need to give me the amount and your email address that it's under, and I will send. If it. I send you the invoice, does it give you a way to pay through the invoice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just send me the invoice. Just send me the oh, invoice. So go into your. No, well, you have to just open the invoice and then send. Put my email address, and then it will all automatically see it and be able to pay it. Awesome. Okay. okay so how is that? What we've got our group back. How is that? Clarity. Always oh, nice. It was nice. I love I love hearing that. It was nice for us too. Tiff and I worked around one of her challenges. So midweek, look, poof, maybe that little obstacle is no longer such a big rock. And you've got mm -hmm. options. You've got a couple tools. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is team day because it's Thursday. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about team identity and culture, one of my favorite, favorite topics. So come on back. And Friday, we will be doing a focus again on a task we'll do our 21 minutes so make sure you're thinking about what friday you can clear off your desk and with that have a fantastic week i'll see you tomorrow thanks tiff thanks everyone see you.